welcome back. Today we're here at Gyeong Bok Dong and we're gonna be touring around to see everything that the palace has to offer. There's certain traps I can't escape. You set them down and walked away. So now I'm here alone, just waiting, hoping that you'll come and save me. But I think I gotta fix this by myself. I don't need a mix in someone else. It's so, so gorgeous in here. We're just in the main courtyard area. We just passed through where you scan your ticket, and it's super cool. I can't even think under your spell. Could be getting by with just your smell. Now there's nothing left inside. You can see the mountains off in the distance, too. Really, really pretty. Yeah, that is pretty. And you can see the tower over there, too. Yeah. Lit it up and sent it down in flames. So this is Gunsung Hall, and it's the place where the king or the ruler of the time would greet guests and have like ceremonies like coronations and stuff like that. Maybe I'll forget you so it's really common for tourists and for locals to dress up in hanbok, which is like traditional Korean clothing, and there's a lot of places you can rent them just around this area. Who's to say? So we were just reading on this pamphlet that the Japanese came and destroyed this area twice actually and then it was eventually renovated and restored again in 1990 back to how it was originally. What's really cool too is that this place is actually just right in the middle of Seoul. So if you look out in different directions you can see skyscrapers and a bunch of modern buildings even though we're in this really cool historical area. Here it's cold, it's always raining, always snowing, almost May. So far away, just... This complex is actually huge. It reminds me a lot of the Forbidden City in Beijing. What do you think? Uh, it also kind of reminds me of the Summer Palace because there's so much like trees. Yeah, and, really like, nice water. greenery. And, yeah, it's nice, especially in the fall. It's really beautiful. Makes me down and I'm afraid I'm stuck. Now I gotta fix this by myself. I can't put myself. It's so pretty here with all of the reflection and the leaves and everything. And if you look up to the side, you can even see Namsan Tower way in the distance over there. There's seriously like an endless amount of like beautiful trees and leaves all over right now because it's fall and honestly you could spend so much time just walking around. I don't know I don't know if you can bring in food but it'd be a really nice place to have a little picnic and just mm. come with the kids on a Saturday. It's really really beautiful. In here it's cold, it's always raining, always snowing, almost May. The thought of you so far away. There's a lot of people here right now because honestly it's the perfect season to be here. It's nice and cool out, not hot like the summer, and it's not quite cold enough yet to need your full winter coat, but it's super nice and it's not too bad since it's so big. You don't see as many people as you might in a smaller place. There's no way to win unless you fail. There's no sunny day. Okay, so thank you so much for coming with us to see the Gyeongbokgung <laughs> Gyeongbokgung Palace. We had such a good time. Make sure you come visit when you visit Seoul. And yeah, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.